Hey everybody, it's Eric here with GMFlash.com and Spartan Auto Works. Today I'm making a real quick video about Allison 5-speed transmission control module diagnosis per se. Uh, so we get a lot of calls every week, especially for the Allison 6-speed controllers, which are those smaller controllers. This is the 5-speed controller. Both of them are mounted on the driver's side on the fan shroud. Um, this is the Allison, like I said, 5-speed controller, the Allison 1000 controller. Uh, everybody calls, thinks they need a, uh, need a replacement for the Allison 1000. Now, over the last year, I can count on one hand the amount of Allison 1000 or 5-speed controllers I've sold. So when people call, I always tell them it's not the controller, it's usually always the wiring. So this truck happens to belong to a friend of mine. Uh, he happened to uh, take it to a shop. He lives a couple hours away from me, took it to a shop. They've had it for over a month, put a transmission control module in it, can't figure out uh what the issue was i told him it was a wiring issue he swore up and down that they went through the whole thing so he finally had the truck towed up to me within a couple minutes i reflashed the module um just to make sure it was a correct uh calibration for the truck uh went ahead and did that but i did it outside the truck so when i pulled the module out i noticed the problem right away which of course comes back to a wiring issue so what happens on these trucks is they have these wiring harnesses up against the fan shroud right here and the, the holder's out of it. But these wires are a real tight, like 90 degree angle. And you'll know when you go take it off, there's kind of a pain to get these things disconnected. So what happens here is these pins, they have, a, there's this little plastic lock and there's a little groove in the pin. And the pin uh, is supposed to fit into that plastic groove or the plastic groove fits into the pin that keeps it from rocking out. What happens is there's these wires are so tight that with vibration and different, I guess, different jerks of the truck, it pulls the pin past the lock and you have intermittent connection basically. So what you need to do before you diagnose a bad TCM for an Allison 5-speed controller, I want you to go out, disconnect the, uh, the harness and the blue one or the red connector, which is this guy right here, it just pops off. You have a couple little release tabs that pops right off, and then you got to pry the back side open. Uh, but the red side's a little hard to see. The clear side down here is real easy to see. You can't really see it with the glare in the video, but it's real easy to see. So you can double check how those fit. But anyway, you want to make sure they're firmly pressed up against the bottom of the lock guide there, which is be the clear and the red thing. And you also want to make sure they're firmly into the, the pins here. Now, I've seen some of these, too, where the, the plastic part has actually gotten brittle or weak and it doesn't hold the pin in there anymore. So you kind of got to secure it from the backside. But anyway, if you have an Allison 5-speed that's acting up, the first thing you need to do before you condemn the TCM is uh, come out here, take apart the connector, and reseat all these pins. You should be able to pretty much fix 99% of your TCM problems with your Allison. If, uh, if you come out here, you'll probably find a couple pins dislodged. Push those bad boys back in, put a little dielectric grease in there, plug it back up, and you should be good to go. Like I said, it's real tight down here. It's like a hard 90 degree angle. Keeps the, t the wires real tight, makes it real uh, difficult to plug in and unplug, trying to get the thing out of there. But just check your pins, usually always the problem. If you happen to need an Allison 1000 controller, these things are super expensive. Uh, you'll find that most dealers don't stock them. Most parts houses don't stock them. Um, unlike the 6-speed module, which everybody stocks because they're just notoriously bad. Uh, but if you need a 6-speed or a 5-speed module, uh, we can program them for you. I can also get them for the 5-speeds, but they are super expensive. Um, we can help you locate one for sure and get a program for you and get it shipped out if that's what you need. But more likely, you probably won't be calling after you see this video. If you have an issue, run out to your truck, disconnect it, check your pins. Pins are usually always the issue. And uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop us a line at gmflash.com. Thanks for watching.